let, let me say that one of the things that the administration, the Obama administration is really focused on is to see how it can change the fundamental parameters of uh, not only the United States response, but the response of, of, of many other countries to the common challenge of narco-trafficking and criminal organizations and that kind of thing. And what, we, what the administration has done is to move, the, move away from a, a um, in some ways a false uh, assumption that, that prevailed earlier, and that was that there were some countries that consumed and there were some countries that produced, uh, and somehow the United States needed to work to try to make sure that the production uh, stopped. Uh, uh, today we understand much more that, than the, that this challenge is a, a highly complex interrelated one in which issues of production, in which issues of, of uh, transfer or of uh, trafficking or issues of demand uh, are all somewhat interrelated. And that the answer to the problem of, of, of uh, narcotics trafficking uh, cannot just be one that is based, say, on, on a, a police uh, response. It has to be a holistic response. And it's a response that requires a view that, that, that also looks at public health issues uh, as fundamental ones, uh, demand reduction issues as fundamental ones, and, and a view that also takes into consideration that what's really underlying the problem is often social and economic situations that make it much more difficult for uh, the, uh, this phenomena to be control and very very specifically youth at risk or uh, lack of opportunities for young people and that kind of thing which contributes then to this uh, to this phenomenon uh, a fundamental absolutely fundamental element has to also be the strengthening of institutions without strong judicial institutions without strong police institutions that that uh, uh, conform uh, to the law uh, that uh, protect human rights, uh, then you're not, without those elements, you're not going to be able to be successful in building this. So if you look in building an, an adequate response, if you look at the evolution of Plan Merida in Mexico and the expansion of, of Plan Merida to Central America, uh, it's being done on the basis of a very different uh, approach. A holistic approach, a cooperative approach among countries, an approach that takes seriously the fact that the United States has co-responsibility as a demand country. Uh, the president has said that he's uh, put two, $10 billion into his current uh, fiscal budget for demand reduction in the United States. Uh, this is a huge challenge given the budgetary problems the United States has. But the approach then has to be a different one from that of the past. It has to be cooperative and it has to be an integral, comprehensive approach. Estados Unidos es, es muy consciente uh, del, de la evolución de, de Brasil. But maybe I should speak in English, right? <laughs> uh, the U.S. is very conscious of the fact that Brazil has uh, has come a long way from, uh, as I said earlier, in the 1950s it was a coffee exporter. It's uh, it's a country that's been able to consolidate democratic institutions. Its 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 uh, economy has been growing at very high. Uh, levels, uh, it's 50 percent. It's largest economy uh, in the world. And in that sense, Brazil plays a legitimate role uh, as one of the BRICS and one of the rising countries uh, in the world. Uh, the United States is also very uh, conscious of the fact that the United Nations needs to be reformed, uh, that, that an institution that rose uh, in 1945 uh, is not necessarily one that is, that is uh, most uh, um, uh, relevant uh, in terms of its, its uh, structure to the challenges of the 21st century and the changes that have to be made. And the administration's position has been uh, reform of the Security Council, maybe with an expansion of the Security Council. Uh, but it has not made any specific 
uh, uh, recommendations or has it come to any particular decision about what role specific countries may, 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 take, may, may play, that is something that will have to be worked through uh, as uh, the United States moves forward. Uh, there, there are a series of different proposals, as you know, on the, on, on the table, many of them from other countries in Latin America that, that, that say maybe what we need to, to look at is, is expansion uh, of the Security Council, but not, not necessarily uh, by necess uh, uh, adding additional permanent members. Uh, maybe some other formula could be used, uh, including that of having uh, a rotations of uh, uh, non-permanent members of a, of a certain, in a certain fashion. So this is something that still has to be discussed, but the administration has not so far said that it uh, will directly endorse, nor does it say that it will not endorse a role for Brazil in the expansion of the Security Council. It depends on how the negotiations move ahead. The fact that Brazil or Chile is looking to build uh, partnerships elsewhere uh, in the world with other uh, countries is not a problem whatsoever for the United States. Uh, in fact, you know, we welcome uh, the fact that uh, other countries are looking to try to strengthen their relationships with, with countries elsewhere in the world. The United States welcomes that. And uh, it's, uh, it's not a zero-sum game uh, at all. And in fact, if, uh, if, if a country like Chile uh, can uh, sign more free trade agreements than it has, uh, uh, that is to the country's benefit. Uh, if, 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 if Brazil uh, and or the countries of Mercosur or the countries of UNASUR want to have uh, a joint approach to dealing with the countries of the European Union, uh, and that's in the benefit of the countries of, uh, of, of South America, that is, that is fine. That, th these are not uh, uh, situations that the United States uses as excluding uh, the United States' uh, influence. Uh, it, if it's in the benefit of the countries, based on the premise that I, uh, that I expressed earlier, based on that premise, that is that it's in the interest of the United States for countries to prosper, to be successful, to uh, be peaceful, uh, and if these uh, various different interrelationships help, then that's good, uh, that's I think good for the, for the United States, so we, we, we welcome that process. Now with regard to to specific strategies that countries might might uh, undertake uh, in in terms of assistance and working with other countries, uh, the Obama administration did sign with both Brazil and Chile, and in some ways these are these are very innovative uh, 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 programs uh, of uh, third-party cooperation. So, with Brazil, the United States does work uh, in Africa on third-party uh, uh, cooperation. Uh, and the United States works with Chile in third-party cooperation with regard to Paraguay, for example. Uh, and there's some discussion between the United States and Chile to expand that level of cooperation um, in Central America and other places like that. So it makes sense that as, a, if, as countries become more interested in, 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 in working to, say, strengthen uh, uh, the institutional capacity of countries to uh, face the challenge of citizen insecurity uh, that that a country like Chile with a police uh, uh, organization that is that is that is that has broad uh, prestige worldwide uh, or with judicial institutions that are that are that are strong uh, could play a significant role in working with others uh, including the United States to try to see how um, uh, uh, third party uh, aid or assistance cooperation uh, can uh, can can move forward. I think these are not these are these are something to be welcomed. This is a new model in a sense. You know, it's not just the United States trying to come up with an alliance for progress. This is the 50th anniversary of the alliance for progress. No, it's the United States working with other partners uh, to come up with better ideas uh, to to try to see how together we can invest in order to be able to make sure that we are influencing. Uh, the trends towards a more positive uh, world order. Thank you. Thank you.